it's going to be a yellow day. I still am not going to give up on all the bug at some point, but... We just, we've had a really good yellow bite going for at least an hour. Hooked a lot of fish, landed some. A super bite for me is two hours when it just stays on one color. I mean, on a rare occasion, you'll go longer than that. It is really hard to right now stop and change that fly. But we just, we went through about five minutes of really premium water, nothing. It's time to start over. And so we're gonna start all over again. And I'm gonna go back to that olive boogeyman, the one we started with. If it works, great. And if it doesn't, that's when we're gonna start going through rotation. We break from everything we've been doing. And we'll just switch it up and go, just start experimenting. For new anglers, that's really hard to do. But after you do the change and see that it works, and how fast it works, it, it'll get a lot easier to say, okay, it's time, and you gotta switch it up. But it is, it's, it's hard for anybody. Johnny set up above here, he goes, you got one minute. And that, and that's, it's a hard, you know, it's a hard one. It's like, you got one minute to get down here. If we don't do anything, you don't wanna stop because it's been so good, but stop, change, and start over. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I think that might be a side hooker. You weren't looking. I think he might be wearing it. It's not a big enough fish to pull that fish. hard. Oh. On the side? Yeah. Got him. Really know. pretty. You good? Yep. yep. Let me know if there's a tree or anything coming. Don't see anything. I think you're clean. I'd row on. Kind of cool the way it's stuck, though. Get a load of that nature. Well, we sat down for lunch. Things were starting to slow down just a little bit. So we started seeing some boats, so we stopped for lunch. It took a 40 minutes or so. And we came back and we were kind of, it was settling in on us. You know, we're, we were starting to lose our bite. We're going through the color thing now, trying to find a bite, find a color. Had one eat on a white and olive, barely legal. That's pretty much been it. So we're back to that start all over thing and looking for, doing the same thing we were doing, just going through it. We've gone big, little, you know, light, dark. The only thing we haven't thrown yet is black. I got pure white on now. My kind of premise is I go full contrast. I go white, black, olive, tan, yellow. But my gut feeling is right now that it, my, not my gut feeling, my, what I want to do is go back to what caught the fish the hardest. But I'm going to go through this till I get to it because they don't usually come back on that bite too often. But I'm going to go back, I'm going to go white, black, and then we're going to go yellow. And then we're going to get really desperate. I don't know what happens next. But Pink and purple polka dots is always yeah. a good one. Yeah, but I don't have Especially any, all I got are stripes. Through. I don't have any polka yeah. dots. So. I mean, that'll be next. So we're just kind of, we're hunting, we're in good water, everything's good. If we can't get them to eat it, we'll change our retrieves up a little bit. If that doesn't work, we'll change the style of fly, but keep it in that color. But as it stands, it's like shut down, which isn't uncommon at all. 
clouds move in, clouds move out, whatever it takes. You know, just something changes and you got to figure it out. This is the fun part. This is the, I mean, even Johnny can catch fish. It's also when the big ones usually eat too, is they kind of lull you to sleep and you think that, you know, it's done and it just takes one. I think it's like the biggest misconception sometimes about streamer fishing is that, you know, why are you doing it? You know, do you want to catch a bunch of fish? Well, it's, sometimes you do get those days where you do catch a lot of them. It's not usually the times where you do see the really big ones. I feel like most of the big fish come on kind of low number bites and that's all you're looking for. First time I ever broke uh, 24 with you, we didn't see a fish for six hours. And that was the only fish I saw all day, but it was the best day of fishing I ever had because I got my biggest brown and just kind of what you're after. I think it's black time. Black dungeon, black anything. Black boogie. Black bugs right here. And you're just trying, when I'm changing fast and trying to figure stuff out, I don't do loop knots, I do a Davy knot. Why is every fly? Got mono on it. When you're in a hurry, got mono in the eyes too. <laughs> Where are your hemos? Right here. What do you need? Barbs. Frig off, Barb. Hey, Barb. You don't need a lot of barbs anymore. Babs, barbs, babar? I don't have any. What, no children? No, elephant books, babar. Hey, look at this, I'm in the fucking tree again. I'll get it there for you, sweetie. There you go. Well, if they're reactionary at all today, and that don't work, we're in trouble. Uh, now, the first one should be, oh yeah, he ate it. Oh, did he jump on that thing? That was cool. Ooh, he wanted a piece on, of that. we're coming for the falls. <sighs> Stick that thing in your net there, Beaver. There you go, hold on. Thank you. Oh, no, it's good. Never doubt. Never doubt. Juicy and chartreusey. Cute little feller. Man, did he waylay it. That was like two hours. Five. Yeah, a little bit of a wall there. Five color changes. We tried something so we, new and different. So we went to a chartreuse sheep herder, which is kind of a. How many people fish this fly? Not a lot of people do. Been good to me. We went through about five colors, I think. And this is a very big profile fly. Uh, as you can see, it's it's bunny and sh uh, sheep. Icelandic sheep. Icelandic. Very bright, flashaboo. My buddy John Stenerson would be so proud of me. I used to tell John I didn't like too much flash in my flies. After the second or third time he kicked my ass fishing with his flash flies, I changed my mind. Now, the question starts, was he a village idiot or is yep. it a trend? I don't know if you noticed, but he was a ways off the bank. Yep. He sharked it going downstream, which means he tracked it wide open. Oh, oh, another one there. Damn, that was a nice one. Did you see it? Yep. Fatty. Did he touch it? Yeah, he got it. He inhaled it. It's getting a little cloudy. It might be all over Black Dungeon time. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's kind of in between. But if the chartreuse is general, not always, nothing's always, but I was just thinking maybe we would match that up a little bit and darken up. It's just kind of mixing on us, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put on something darker, but still has a little flash in it. Want me to pull over? No. Nope. 
Mini olive buggy. Oh, missed they, one. They have, they Just have pulled not that thing right out of really? his face. That's two. We're going to get oh, one more. There he is. Better fish, too. That other one's a real right trophy. That's not really a good one, though. Great not fish. Bad. Good shot. Looks like we've changed to the right fly. That was like the right place or the right fly, or both. Beauty. Put that all the way down there. Shoo. Nice job, Kelly. We switched to an olive mini boogie. We changed our profile. We've been getting our butt kicked. That was three fish in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Never not, know. Not very long. The thing that struck me on the last one that I missed, I missed two in a row. I brought the one I had for a second, but the other one came up. We've been throwing pretty big profile and I have a bad elbow which is going into my hand and I couldn't throw that big fly anymore. And I uh, went to the smaller profile and the fish come up and just eat it. You can see the deliberateness of the eat. It just, you nice can fish. tell they're, they're not, it's not a react, it was reactionary in part, but it's, it's, they're coming up and they just eat it. There's a whole different eat and they inhale it. Like, they know it's food. Do you see this rock? No. It's right here. Where? Huh? I don't know. They're up in that lake right there. That's where they are, god damn it. Feller, but he's got gotcha. spunk. Yeah, I'm good. Mm. Got him. Nice. Mm. Got Keep, me in stripping. Keep stripping. Keep stripping. Keep <laughs> stripping. That got me in mid strip. Sometimes you need a motivational speaker. <laughs> got him. Oh, yep. we've been talking all this time about keeping tension on your fly, stripping it in. That one got me, it slipped my, <laughs> it slipped, I mean, I was so out of control. So we keep trying to do a thing about fighting fish and forgetting to talk about it. That last one was a perfect example of how not to. I set up and I, I slipped the line through my hand. And I was out of control the whole time. But we'll get another one here and I'll show you what I mean. But you, you want to keep your rod in front of you and resist the temptation to go to your reel on a big fish until you're completely tight. I mean, if you're good enough to get control and, and fan your reel, that's one thing, but try to stay tight with your rod in front of you and your rod low. One of the worst things you see people do is, and it's, it's an old habit, people say keep your rod high. You don't fight fish with a rod, high rod, you fight fish with a low rod and as low as you can and just put well, think the about butt. Where your Think about where your rod tip is when you set the hook. When you're setting up on a dry fly, you know, you, you're lifting up, you keep your rod high. You know, you, if, you're, if you're streamer fishing, you usually have your rod low. If you're swinging soft tackles, you usually have your rod low. You want to keep your rod, basically, keep the angle of depression of the hook in sort of the same spot. I mean, yeah, there's times where they get both hooks or one hook super solid and you can do no wrong, but more often than not, what you notice is that when people change the angle of the rod very quickly from the position at which the fish eats, they tend to get off a lot easier than if you keep it at that at the same angle. And it's really important. It's hard to get, it's hard to break that habit, but very important.
Once in a while, you gotta let loose, put the Tommy Bahama shirts on, go get yourself a chimichanga. I don't even know what a f***ing chimichanga is. It's deep fried Mexican. It's like a, you know, flour tortilla with a bunch of shit in it, and then they deep fry the f*** out of it, and it's cheesy, and a lot of peppers and stuff. It's delicious. Actually, I would take a ribeye <laughs> over a chimichanga. That is for sure. We're getting close to the end. Had a lot of... We had a pretty good day, really. We had, had that two-hour lull when the front was moving in. Yeah. But, got, you know, not crazy, but good enough where we probably saw, you know, 20 fish come to the fly today. I would guess at least that. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, so what we were what we were looking for is just to get a handful of tips out of that. So the, you know, keeping your rod low, changing your angles, and you know, fighting your rod, fighting your fish with a low rod, and keeping it low and tight on you. Change your fly frequently. We've changed our fly. I've got the draw. I'll show you when we get down here to the landing. I'll do a still on it. Change the fly. We just switched back to yellow. We've tried yellow because it was so hot early. We tried it three times, I think. Yeah, and it's smaller on this one, though. Then we went mini again, did the same thing with olive. We went mini olive boogies. That was probably the best, other than the yellow dungeon. Well, there it is. That's the gut pile for the day. Other than a couple I left in trees, this is everything we fished. Uh, it was a great day. Hope you liked it. Thanks, Johnny and Braden. Stay tuned. Got much more coming.